So for those of you guys who are about to take the SAT, who have taken the SAT or retaking the SAT or studying for the SAT or about to study for the SAT, basically, if the SAT will be part of your life in a little bit, within a year, within a couple months, within two years, I'll tell you a story about my experience with the SAT. It's a pretty funny story, actually. So I don't know if I've mentioned this in my other videos, but you know, the SAT, I took it my first time, I believe my junior year, the legit SAT, not a practice SAT, like, you know, signing it up on college board, you know, going to some high school, you know, waking up at like five in the morning, I forget. But the first official SAT I took in junior year, and I took it three times. And each time I took it, it was, I got better scores, but it wasn't a drastic change, but that's not even the point of the story. So before you take the SAT you usually take a practice SAT for most people I don't know how other people do it but for me I took a practice SAT I went to like a SAT prep center I think my sophomore year I took the practice SAT for the first time it was like a five six hour test and back then it was out of 2400 um, I believe now it's 1600 so I don't know if you guys took out a section but for me it was 2400 three sections math writing critical reading and then essay which i believe was in the beginning or at the end i forget but i'll tell you a funny story about the sat so like i said i went to a prep center to take the first practice sat so that the owner of the place know what you know class to place me in because at the prep center, it wasn't just one SAT class. They split it up with, you know, what kind of scores each student was getting. So if you got a really good SAT score on the practice test, they put you with, you know, the smarter kids. And if you got a really bad one, uh, they put you with, you know, the other retarded dudes. For me, like I said, this is out of 2400. It was like a five hour practice test, but he gave me the timer so I could time my own sections. But each time um, the section I completed, I didn't finish all the questions. So I get, I gave myself like an extra like five, 10 minutes per section. So in reality, the entire test took me like six and a half or like seven hours. And then my excuse was like, oh, you know, I was like in the bathroom or whatever. So I finally finished the SAT, the practice SAT. And like I said, it was my first time. I didn't know what to expect. It was hard. I like, like I said, I had to give myself extra time because I just couldn't finish it. And I did the essay as well. And then finally I gave my scan Scantron to the owner of the SAT place. And then he put it in the machine and whatever. He told me to wait like 20 minutes to, for me to get the score. And after about 20 minutes, he called me into his office and he said, I got a couple questions for you. Did you finish all these sections? I mean, I said, yeah, there's, you know, 10 sections or nine sections. I finished every single one of them. He said, did you skip any questions? And I said, no, I, you know, I mean, I spent a little bit more time than usual, but I made sure I bubbled in everything on the scan tree, on the Scantron. He's like, okay. He's like, did you do the essay? I said, yeah, dude, I, I did everything. Why do you keep on asking me this question? And I was like, so what did I get? Um, I'm curious, like I've been here for like fucking six, seven hours, dude. Like I'm trying to go home. Like what the fuck did I get on my test? And he sat down and he was like, you got a 1220. And I was like, 1220, like, what is this out of? At that time, I didn't even know what it was out of. And he's like, this test is out of 2400. And I was like, 1220, 24. Oh shit, I got a F, I got a 50% on my first practice test. And he said that was the lowest score that he's ever seen in the establishment he owned. So basically, you know, out of the 200, 300 students that he had in his business, my score was the lowest he's seen. And to be honest, I didn't take it the wrong way. I wasn't like sad or anything. I was just shocked. I was like, damn, dude, did I really fuck up this test that badly? Cause on the writing section, there's like this part where you, they give you a sentence and then you got to see, you know, if the sentence has an error and the last choice is E, which is no error or nothing wrong with the sentence. And I legit put that for like 80% of the questions because I thought they were all right. Now looking back, man, dude, my English was terrible, dude. My grammar skills were terrible. So the point is I got a 1220. I got the worst grade that he's seen so bad to the point where he was questioning me. He was like interrogating me like, dude, did you finish this test? Did you do the essay? And my responses were, yes, dude, I finished everything. But the point I wanna say is, bro, it does not matter how you start out. 
It really doesn't matter how you start out. It matters how you finish the game, how you finish the race. So for those who are stressing about the SAT, oh, I got a low grade, you know, I'm not gonna go to a good school. Take it from me, dude. I got the worst grade, one of the worst grades that he's seen, an F, a 50%. I went to community college, worked hard, transferred out to a top 25. So for those of you guys who are doubting yourself, like I said, it does not matter how you start out, it matters how you end the race.